go on, start recording, and let's be good to go. And Life is Strange, and oh, I need to get the volume back on the vo volume mixer here. Uh, 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 oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 and I'm stronger than you. People watching the bottom of this are probably really confused as to why I'm singing that song. Anyway, uh, let's see. All right, let's go find uh, Nathan. So wait, is this the boys' dorm? I don't think I've been. I don't think I've been to this part of the game yet, unless. Is that a, does he have a MAGA hat? Hold on. No, this is 2013, so. Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I miss her laugh. And I fell off my board. She is probably high. Yeah. She had the sick. Oh god. Okay, I have to bounce. Take a look. Fucking meme lords! Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Oh, okay. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Actions have oh, consequences. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Look at the, look at this fucking Oh god, first the whatever that face was, now the milady guy on this this guy's shirt. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at yeah, this don't editor. don't trespass on my turf, yo. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. Ah, I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me in the lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but no, I won't do that. But yeah, he probably he's a, probably the one that drew that friggin' thing. Have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. Because I'm a nerd. I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is speaking of memes gets better and gets justice. I hear that Max. She's this <laughs> really nice, genuine person. Oh god, that was a mighty ass sneeze. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution. Oh, that really my scratched my throat too. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. But... Okay, so I can actually go into the boys' dormitories. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. What are you talking about me? How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way... Thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brock. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Does he have a thing? Warren's <coughs> not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan piss. Oh, I think she I think she likes Warren. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get She's my super jealous. Brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. 
Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Are you jealous? That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Drone. I might feel better to You're a drone. A quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Jesus Christ, why is this girl being such a bitch? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Talk to you later, Max. What is her issue? Jeez. I mean, I know what her issue is, but why? I, I guess the better question is why. Give up any secrets to us. You already said that, and I'm right here. What? Front, 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 bitch! Come on. Ah, nice iPad you got there, huh? 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 It's not like I don't own all the original apes, Jesus, this girl is salty. Another batch of dead birds today. How are you doing, Max? Yeah, great intro line. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the... Before I go back to Chloe, I'm going to go into the boys' dorm, because oh, I don't think I've even been in there at all. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? We're going to get into the, some birdemic shock and terror kind of territory here, talking about global warming and climate change. Yeah, they... They just cry. Eco-disaster. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are... Connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm the voice acting for the, like, not, I want to say like 85% of the voice acting in this game is really good. If something happened to them, and there's people like him and the drone girl, and the, guy, and the girl that sounds like Lumpy Space Princess. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me. Th that I have to feed them now. Is that Bob Ross the squirrel? What's 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 the name of Bob Ross the squirrel again? It's not. That makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. <laughs> Everything is changing. Get that food in your belly. I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Can I take a picture of it? And the animals. Not to mention How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what I just found out? I didn't know until like yesterday that uh, Ashley Birch actually does the voice for Chloe. And I didn't I didn't even pick up on that. Usually when Ashley Birch voices a character, I can tell it's her because she kind of has a specific voice, but no, she actually does a really good job as Chloe. Not around. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. She's one loud sister. At least she's not the woman that voiced, uh... That one homeless girl in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Who was, oh, no, it's Adam Jetson. Well, I don't know the Pacifics, but I'm a black lady. It acts like I'm from the 1930s. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe. Not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? 
Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given... Yeah, I want to get back into voice acting. I, I like it a lot. I, 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 I used to really... I used to be into, like, this uh, amateur voice acting group uh, called VAA, but I just kind of dropped out of it after a while. Guess I just kind of lost confidence, but... uh. Did the Prescotts have anything to do with the... I think now that I have this set up with the, with the stand and the... Pop filter. I might try and get back into it. Membership has its privileges, especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. It's like I'm a real professional, guys. Zoinks! This could be the school that. Well, golly gee, I'm listening to my wacky cartoon voice. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all. At oh. Suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. <laughs> and I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. I'm not the best student. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I I'd would. Collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today, I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel Snap like it's back changing to reality. Oh, oh, you and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic, it's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Topanga from Boy Meets World. She was hot. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. You're sounding I'll crazy. See you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. All right, let's go in the boys' dorm and see some see some penises. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. What are you trying to say, Eric? The Jewish people are smart? Ugh, so racist. It's all lame. They don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. It actually kind of reminds me of this old Louis, C Louis C.K. bit. Uh, just talking about how all like stere like racial stereotypes are nasty and shit like that. I was like, what, what if there, there were stereotypes that were nice? There were like, you know, kind of stereotypes that were like positive. Like, you know, you know, those Chinese people. They can fly! And you know about those Puerto Ricans. They made the candy! 
I, that always made me laugh. Of course. Yeah. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. What the hell? Are they gonna bang? Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. <laughs> I hear you right. Totally not gonna have sex. This can only be Nathan's room. I'm gonna snoop around a bit more first. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kane. Poor Warren. Oh, God. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. This kind of looks like the character from uh, Binding of Isaac. That's a game I need to play. I played only a little bit of the original Binding of Isaac game, and I bought that game when my computer couldn't really run it that well. But uh, I've been meaning to get. I've been meaning to give that a shot. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get the Switch version one of these days because that seems to have all the DLC built into it. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Would that be a good? Would that be a good game? Would that be uh, something you guys would like me to stream someday? I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. Are you made of copper and delirium because you are cute? Oh. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. He'll laugh, right? That's actually kind of lame. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not write on there. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Okay, let's not... Let's kind of not get into anti-Jewish chat, please. I appreciate that. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Good lord. Sit and shit, welcome to Black Smell. Oh, good one. Free glory hole? Oh, so sign me up. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Alright, let's get in here. Why not use that pipe bomb that you made before? Or the soda bomb or whatever. Oh, look at that shelf. It looks like my shelf a little bit. So wait, why does he have like a thing going here? Like a now I need projector. To find phone or anything with clues. Uh, Dave is not here. I need to close. Oh, wait. oh, there's lots of there's lots of text here. All right. Next, now that Dave is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good flu influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm so I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget that you're still teenage adults. By the way, I found a nest on the ground in the garage. Poor eggs and birds. Hope you weren't snooping around in there with Chloe. Oh, Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know if let me know when you want to come by my room, and I'll give you a fashion makeover. I'm seeing Kate. I know you will. Anime faces. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk. Or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Wait, what? Oh, Chloe. 
What is this picture? That's really creepy and weird. I really hope they were all consenting models. God, this is really creeping me out. Oh, good job, Mom. Chloe's mom. You killed the you killed the babies. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, oh, okay. That's what that picture was. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. The guy has his own grace, but this guy is a fucking disgrace. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Uh, look. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Oh, okay, that's where the projector was. Wait, how the hell did he install a projector up there? And, like, where are the cords going? Did he actually, like, run... Well, I, I guess it, since it's a Nathan, I guess they probably allowed him, like, special, special stuff. Special privileges to hook up stuff like that. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Like what are the what are these images? Like why is this running? Why is this why is everything here so fucking creepy? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Jesus Christ, Nathan. All the DVDs these all have a dark pattern. Oh, if I can actually look at them. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Mm-hmm. Curious. Uh, let's see. So we're still looking for a cell phone, but I can't... I haven't found anything yet. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Oh yeah, that's kind of an unfortunate suit. Alright. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Okay, so the comp so it was hooked up to the computer. I see. What's up? Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week, so I can wear something just as excuse me, just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious pa potty, potty from Boston. Potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell. So we can get wrecked without hassle if we're going to have an end of the world theme. Then let's fucking do it. Let's do it on. Do it fucking on point, right? Let's get some brats. Go watch the socks. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh, so so this is the video, huh? I wonder if there's any way to just delete it. No, it's just it's just a tab. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. All right, Nate. I know it's just what we creep, and you and Mother, I are here to talk. We need be. So make an appointment any time. Just make an appointment with your parents. Your mother wants Doctor Bill to come out after, come out after his book tour. But for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. Need a calm. Need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an Emma along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment's right. Jesus Christ. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Tuna burn from and Brazil. Far away. You know what's going on, you just got to, Yes, my mother told me you're in trouble. 
Well, has been in your ass, but you going to stand up to him. You know, I love Dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. The only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. Your school, I just want to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Mm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the re recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use it. Use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I've assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Ah, oh, God. Everyone in this school is a piece of shit, huh? Alright, so we still haven't found this... F oh, wait, hold on. What's this? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? I mean, that's all you're gonna do? You're not gonna, like... Okay. Oh, I can move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh my god, it's Rachel! Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. So he just kept his phone in a bag behind his couch? Why didn't he take his phone with now him? I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes Actually, hold on. Did I leave any evidence behind? No, I don't think I did. Well, his computer. Can I put it back on the screensaver? Way into this part. No. Oh, that was a screensaver. Okay. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. So, okay. Hopefully, I didn't leave anything behind. All right. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls. Fucker. So seriously, why was he keeping his phone in a bag behind his couch? What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh. <gasps> Damn, Warren. Uh, you are so fucking dead. Oh, shit. Get off me, bro. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, ooh. So this is our first major choice. No, wait, no, it wasn't the first major choice. The first, hmm. So what do you guys think I should do? Should I stay out of it or stop Warren? Because I feel like if, I feel like if I stop, if I don't stop Warren, like, Warren's actually gonna shoot him. But if I stay out of it, no. The choices are yours, and yours alone. Actually, they're my choice. Shoot him. <laughs> yeah, let's stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this motherfucker? You seriously beating him to death? Holy shit! That's, here, I'm gonna say something real quick, that's pretty much how, that moment is so fucking vindictive for me. Because that's exactly how I got bullies to stop bullying me in 8th grade. So, actually, yeah. Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Like, he was fucking crying, too. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, 
Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Yeah, no shit. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. Let him in on the tri time travel shit! Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I knew that like back back in the early Man, days of school. I'm so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Yeah, like, I got in trouble for starting fights with all the bullies. I mean, like, all the teachers and faculty said they'd do something about it, but they never fucking did. And I'd always get in trouble for, like, actually responding to their bullying. Until one day where I was just walking home from school. So this wasn't even on school grounds. So I just straight, like, this guy was just teasing me like hell while I was walking home. So I just pinned that fucker on the ground and just started punching the shit out of him. Until he started crying and he, like, he started like, like saying like he'd never make fun of me again. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me. All the way to Portland, wow. Absolutely. So, let's play this cool, okay? Like, if you're going on a road trip, go big or go home. Like, Portland can't be that far away. Oregon's not that big of a state. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Forests seem quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. A lot of people made fun of me for being fat and being a crybaby. Because I was just, like, really sensitive to a lot of things. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is out. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Yeah, speaking of which, the beer garden is a good uh, restaurant at Disney World. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. 
Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Real talk. If you ever, go, if you guys ever go to Epcot or Disney in, at Disney World, uh, there's a restaurant in the German version of the World Showcase at Epcot called the Beer Garden, and it's like a German, like Bavarian style buffet, and it's really fucking good. Probably the best thing I've eaten at Disney World. I mean, I didn't eat the restaurant, but I ate the food. You know what I mean. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, <laughs> we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you Are you gonna cheat on me with this video game girl like you thought I was with the... with that pool scene? I hate you. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, Jeez. Baby? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> No, 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 no. You fucking killed my dog. Oh god. Wait, what? Do I not get a rewind at this point? Oh, jeez. Oh no. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the cops. Cops, come. I'm surprised they're not letting me rewind at this point. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Wait, can I seriously not rewind? Oh, now I can. Probably. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And yeah, let's go ahead and rewind here. I mean, I guess... Let's take a look at the other options first. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So... Tell me exactly what I need to do here. Uh, let's say, be careful. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Uh, 
Oh, look. The one. Yeah, let's skip this. Hi. Oh, wait, what? Close the door? Wait, hold on. Wait, this is... I, I didn't get to choose this option before. Uh, no fight? Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of... So wait, what happened? Did I... Oh, hmm. Oh, oh, you know well, what? Maybe there was new dialogue. How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only Jeez. here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now, and I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse uh what are you hiding rachel's letter bracelet let's you go the bracelet rachel's bracelet you obviously know more than yeah i know. feel like the dialogue here is kind of like stilted and tell me what to do understand man there is something about you that is so wrong i don't trust you at all now get out of my face we don't have much time frank Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get oh, it. so this Get is going to result in that again. I killed Frank. All right, I guess we're backing up again. Yeah, I feel like the this conversation could have gone in so many different places and some of the dialogue just like doesn't line up as well as it should. Listen, Chloe. All right, let's Let's be careful again. Be careful. Yep. I... I don't... No fight. Hey. No, that's... Just the... Oh! I'm sorry. Listen. Uh, yeah. 
There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, right. Okay. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. Oh yeah. You... I. Finally. I. Okay, come on. Dude. Hey. We're only. Shit. Let's keep I going love with it. I Love Dogs. Yeah. That's very cool. Maybe we can folk. Chill. Yes. You and Cl Wish I could just go back to this this moment right here. Uh, let's go with Rachel's letter. Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Oh, it was in this RV. Insane? You read my private letter? Man, there is something about you. Yep, no. Nope. That didn't work. I, much time, Frank. I can't I wish I could rewind like in this conversation. I killed Frank. Alright, let's go back. Hold on. Can I stop? Okay. Maybe I could have right clicked and just like rewound it to a specific point because right now it just seems to be kind of going to like a specific spot and I can't seem to stop it. Alright, let's try again. Oh, you're in Hawaii. Okay. Alright, see you later, Eric. Uh, go to, if you want to subscribe to my alternate channel at archive.curt.dog, uh, you can see like the whole recording of these streams, so uh, in case you want to get caught up. Listen. But yeah, have fun. I... Alright, be careful. be careful. Maybe I should have picked a different option. No fight. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Oh. I. Fine. I... Hey. <sighs> Come on. We're all... I love dogs. I... Yeah. Maybe we chill. Yeah. You. Uh, Rachel photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares, and you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. It's kind of a longer chapter. There's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. All right, good. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. So now she has two guns. Thank you. Now, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. All right, cool. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. I did it. Rachel must have seen something good in him. This didn't end in death. Hooray. So seriously, why did like what what's with that phone? Chloe. Why does why does Nathan kidding? not have his phone? Is that like a burner phone or something? It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. 
It's still a mystery to me, sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take a look at this board then. We better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party, and good luck. Oh, Frank's a good guy now. Cool. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Letter. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Sorry about that, I must be a monstrous bitch. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting into actually some, like, investigation shit, huh? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Let's see. Greyhound makes... Uh... Tonk. That's a great name, Tonk. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. He actually scared me. I thought I'd never chill out. Yeah, I'm going to look back. Hmm. So, look at this photograph. It's so weird how close they were. But, Frank... Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs yeah. for him. David Madsen, Nathan Rath. My right. office warned me Rachel Lambert's been a drug mule. Acting in front of him, considering Rachel's episode, I told David I would need more concrete proof, and he promised... And more to show. So let's look, take a look at this. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Client names are encrypted. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's it. Maybe these are the client names. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Max, Tell us everything. All these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all the... Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Oh, wait, that's something new. Frank's clues... Ah, oh, okay. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Boxer Beach, okay. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. So wait, so Nathan is rot, so let's see if we can find a paper with rot on it. I wonder if any, do all these papers have rot on it? Maybe that one. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Two sheets skidoo acid. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Okay, so there's two papers with, uh... Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Firebud, speed, cocaine. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. So let's see. You investigate the clues of Nathan, Frank, and David. Oh wait, so I can I can select three from here. That's right. Let's 
see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I don't need to select that. So select this one. Okay. Beagle Street. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I can see you know how to rock that big board. All right, let's take a look at these ones then. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Take a look at this. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. She seemed quite upset and claimed David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and give him the question. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. That's one of the cameras. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Frank and Rachel, Rachel avoids a dormitory police report. Rachel Amber was picked up. Mission control substance was reported by David Manson. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Heard Kate and Dana at a Vortex party. Watch Kate in troop group. She knows her Bible. It's about the new students' drugs. Oh, yeah, that one. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. So, like, what am I supposed to. Let's see, hold on. You investigate clues of Nathan, Frank, and David. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Twin Peaks. Oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Are those the only coordinates that are here? Cause I think that's uh that's Chloe's truck. Actually, hold on. You'd have paid full details. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Actually, hold on. Look. I can't, like, switch between these pictures, huh? Alright, so I'm going to back out of this one and go down to Nathan's clues here first. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay. Couldn't hurt Sim card. Sim card. Oh, I probably need to select it. Oh, I need four of them. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Welcome to the most exciting part of this stream. <laughs> oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. 
We've got to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyta's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity, severity of the situation. Okay. Hope this isn't too boring for everybody, by the way. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. All right, investigate. Let's start hacking. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, let's try 1111. Oh, can I not actually press... Uh, this is probably... Oh, right, this game was made for, like, PS4 and Xbox One in mind, too, so of course not. Oops. Bad code. Nine three three five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. So there's lots of numbers on here. Here, let's take a look at this one first. Home phone, cell phone, work phone. 1990, <coughs> 1995, maybe? You locked it, dumbass. Enter Puck? All right, well, let's rewind then. All right, take a look. Zero, zero, five, eight. Let's try that one. You locked it, dumbass. All right. Let's start hacking. Look. Hey, Pimpito. Uh, let's see. 0198 or 7063. 0198. Oops. Bad code. Looks like you can say nine three nine five three five. Okay, let's we'll try that. Nine five three five. Oh yeah, maybe let's try that. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. That's not it. Seven zero six three. You locked it, dumbass. Hmm. What other numbers could there be? Okay, seven zero six three one zero one zero. Okay, I tried 7063. Okay, let's try 1010. Oops. Bad code. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. 8603. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, 
Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, you know what? Hold on. The puck, the puck number right here. You locked it, dumbass. Uh, eight seven eight eight seven eight zero eight. Eight eight seven eight seven eight zero eight. Seven eight oh eight. Ugh. Okay, this is not rocket science. Write the code down or memorize it. You can do it, Max. Hey, hold on. Oh, eight seven eight eight seven eight oh eight. Eight eight seven eight seven. Eight. Ah, eight, eight. Ah, god damn it. Ah, seven, eight. Oh, wrong code. Cluck you. And you may hold on. Say that. Maybe I will actually write it down. Hold on. <laughs> ah, I hate. I can't uh, have a hard time memorizing numbers longer than like seven or eight digits. So I will write it down like a Neanderthal. Eight seven eight eight seven eight zero eight. All right, eight seven. Think, think. Oh, look at this shit again because you did miss something. Did I? Eight seven. Oh, that's a nine. Oh, okay. Eight seven eight and nine. I thought that was an eight. I guess kind of the colors were running together a little bit. Okay. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. There we go. So this past... Okay, that's actually a kind of a clever way of doing it. This this game seriously... Uh, never ceases to amaze me. What up? Need the G. Okay. Oh, right! I, did, I completely forgot about the read button. I just clicked it now, too. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I can have some serious brain farts sometimes. Alright. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home. You home? Got to party tonight. Home. On the way. Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. You need to score ASAP. I don't make house goals. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call you to give the exact directions. In transit. Get that money out. Dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What you need? Peruvian flakes. Skidoo acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes. Don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook up, brother. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for you, ass. I know where you sleep. Oh, I wonder if this was a text that he sent me. Or Max, I guess. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Yep. Asshole. That's Is him. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please don't contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat like an adult who can get things done on its own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to, than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. 
All right, so we got that stuff. And now we just need to kind of figure out David's clues here. And thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Oh, you know what? Because I wonder if Nathan took Chloe's car after he drugged her. Let's take a look at that. So we need three clues here. Here's something that Frank and Rachel meet once again. Hmm. Placement of cameras. This is this one's kind of tough. Hold on. Unless I can go into detail with some of this stuff. Select Clues are not related. Yeah. Three seventeen, Blackwell Academy parking. Kate Marsh knows something. Wait, hold on. What was the date on that? Three seventeen. No, it doesn't look like there's any Oh, you know, wait, This, these are the same pictures here. Hmm. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. I must have missed something. Hmm. Yeah. This one's kind of tough. I can't really kind of get like a common theme here. Hmm. Maybe these three? Okay. This is just sad, Max. Coordinates. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Okay, so I need the coordinates. License plates, pictures, maybe the map? Nope. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm going to try and put these, uh, put the stream up tonight. So, uh, yeah, if you, if you have to sleep now, Jen, I totally understand. Uh, this is, this seems like kind of the boring part right here. So I'm just trying to piece things together here. So these are definitely important. Tried to talk and she got upset and ran away. Guilty. Night, babe. Love you. Oh, 
Looks like this is not relevant at all. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spy the us. <laughs> so yeah, I need license plate pictures. Maybe maybe this picture? And that's all she wrote. There we go. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I wish they would have let me look at all the pictures, because that would have been that would have okay. Well, okay, finally did that, Nathan. Get ready to fucking die, bitches. You fuck up my dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Oh, that's right, I did fuck up the door. Whoops, I, I should have rewound time. That's, uh, that was the thing. I forgot that I actually broke in his door. I probably could have been able to rewind time and just... Not screw up the door, huh? Yeah, whatever. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Hey, right, let's take a look at the coordinates here. Yep, another car David was tracking. So yeah, that was Chloe's car, I remember that. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Look. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Oh, okay. Overcompensating. I get it. As so usual. So there's a tape here. So I need to find a picture with a car with some tape. Hmm. So it's this one. Who does this car belong to? Got it. Okay. Look at this photo. SFX T. Yeah! Here we go. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right, just take a look. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, man. All right, take a look. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Okay, so let's take a look here. So, this infamous party was the 4th. Okay, so the 4th. So, it took place at 8 p.m. So, it was either after 8 p.m. on the 4th, or maybe early morning on the 5th. Look. The beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Okay, so he wasn't... Okay, so he was there. But no. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? So, 10-4 and 9-54. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there, too. So, 10 4, 10, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so he's at school there. Not much out there. Actually, hold on. Okay, so no. 
Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. Hmm. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. So trying to find... Okay, so what's this stuff up here? So, okay. You need now. Got to party tonight. You know, score ASAP. Okay. Have a car, no time, charge me double. Damn right, have cash and no fucking around. Give me the, give me the exact directions. Okay. So, he was text- Okay, so... This, I feel like that one's gonna be really important. Okay, so... Da -da. Select this. Uh, let's take a look. 9.30, 10 p.m. Okay, so we need to find what... 10, 4, 5, 40. 10, 7, 3, 10. 10, 7. 10, 7. 10, 4, 11 p.m. Rot boondocks. Okay. Okay, so at 11 p.m., so we need to find the one that says 11 p.m. on 10-4. See, I'm smart. I can figure things out on my own. 954. 10-4. So that get I'm thinking about that gas station. 10-4. So wait, hold on. Let me take a look at this real quick. Okay, in transit. So it was after 1034. So it's probably this barn. It's either this barn or this gas station. Here, let me take a look at this again. Let's go ASAP. Okay, so yeah, it's this barn. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Not even yourself. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. You're getting pretty close. I can taste it. Oh, shit, right. this is scary. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. I'm kind of surprised. Kind of surprised. Oh, don't be surprised. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised how long this chapter is compared to the other ones. Well, I felt like the other ones kind of breezed by. Tire tracks. 
Dude, somebody was just here. But I kind of like going, just like barging an entire episode like this. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty bar? What did Warren have to say? Didn't realize being the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course, I bruised his face worse. He had it coming. The whole fight was so insane. Yes, it so, so was. How are you doing? Amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again unless I had to. Yeah, pretty much the same Same for me. That's for sure. He paid you. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. I promise. Cool. Now I have to get back to striking super poses. <laughs> so, tracks... There's a cute little squirrel. Oh, there's a car over here. Anything in here that can help Watson, us out? We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Okay. Guess not. Open, God damn it! Open! Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Wait, that's the front door? Oh, yes! Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. And I'm afraid of the dark. I've heard tales from the crypt about this place. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. Prescott's brain bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Something's gonna go down in this damn barn, I know it. I can feel it. Hold on, guys. Chat got super quiet, didn't it? <laughs> Just making sure. Okay. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Alright, so let's see this tractor. This tractor has paid its dues. So many haystacks. So few needles. I was gonna make a needle joke, but I guess she did it for me. Ah, the good old days. Sixty cents for milk! Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I all them in a Friday the 13th movie. You don't need to explain yourself to yourself. Whoa. What is this? Oh, God. It's totally brand new. Why? This shit, this shit is getting heavier and heavier. Uh, look. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Look, anything else? Pitchfork. Just want to make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, there's a photo over here. Wow, sir. Talk about Home on the Range. Yeah, that was a shitty movie. I don't know what Di I don't know what Disney was thinking. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Dearest Mr. L Lyndon, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. 
We must take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of... By the end... By the end if the day July 24th in the year of our Lord 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, my little pony. I guess friendship wasn't magic with them. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Ah, the good oh. old days. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. We Resident Evil 4 now. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Wouldn't press your luck, though. So what's their plan? Is she just gonna jump on it? Here's the other end of the rope. Oh, it's an owl. Oh, that's a cute. Oh, I really like that owl model. All right, let's take a look here. So that's a rope. So I can only look at the rope. Can't really do anything with it, huh? Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're a dork. Okay, so what the hell can I do up here? Was it just to take that photo? Here's the other end of the rope. Yeah, I know. Can I not climb down? Oh, I can. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Why couldn't I do that? Oh, probably because I haven't uncover. I didn't un uncover it yet. Right, let's climb my back up here. <clears throat> All right, climb back up. And pull the rope. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. <laughs> okay. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Hmm. Can I... Hold on. Here's the other end of the rope. Can I not unhook it, or... Hmm. Oh, I wonder. No, I can't really. Well, here's a crate. Ah, oh, right, I already saw those. I have to get through this monster padlock first. Oh, hmm. I wonder if I can rewind time while I'm up there. I 
All right, get up the platform again. I apologize for kind of the slow padded gameplay right here, guys. Hold on. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Hmm. Well, hold on. Maybe I can jump down here and maybe attach it to... That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Well, no. Well, hold on. Am I missing something here? Like, why can't I just take this rope and attach it to something else? I can only look at the rope. Here's the other end of the rope. Yes, I know. And I can't jump up here. Hmm. Tracks, crate, photo. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I know what to do. Just rewind time far enough back so the so the tractor is still up there. Then I could push the tractor down. I think that's what I need to do. Because I rewound time enough to get the rope from not being attached there, so I could probably do the same thing with the with the tractor here. And just there we go. Hey, I'm trying, Vo, okay? <laughs> hey, Chloe. There we go. We got this. strikes again. I knew that was the solution. I just couldn't, like, actually execute it the way I was trying to think of. <laughs> Alright. Let's go down the hatch, just like Lost. I swear, if Rachel's down here and she's dead, I'm gonna be really sad. What? Is Holy this? shit. Jack. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? Oh lord, I'm not quite prepared for the shit that's about to be found out here. I have a feeling once I come down here, someone's gonna actually lock this or block our exit from here. And lock us down here. This bunker is so surreal. Oh, this 
is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Hmm. So I'm guessing these worn out numbers are part of the code. Wrong code. You can do it, Max. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. God, this is so fucking creepy. What are they going to find? Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna go back real quick. I wonder if I can. Nope. Now what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm getting a kind of a feeling here. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It's as simple as that. I fear it's becoming even more disconnected from reality. Yep. Excuse me. Even if he acts in a personable manner, you have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Oof. Yeesh. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Yep. Look at all this weird shit. Holy shit, what is going on down here? That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Holy shit. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. Ooh, what is this? Stormbreaker bunker, full estimate. One million three hundred fifty thousand dollars six. Three hundred and fifty thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. What kind of what is what is this? Tortured. Oh, that's the white light that she was talking about. It was like really bright. Oh god. Oh, this is this is no good. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. From you have been spent due to some suspect vortex club activity. In part, never mind that. I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted in Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. It's my final warning. Holy shit. What's this note? <coughs> What is going on between Nathan and his father? I told you told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable one. So that is a disposable phone. I want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set, up, set all this up and shared my vast wisdom so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together. But you have to let me... Go Ooh, God, this is getting... It's getting kind of heavy. Heavier than I thought this would actually end up being. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, that, oh god, that's, uh, that's Kate. 
Jesus. Let's see what's in here. Okay. I can't access anything else. Oh my god. No. Oh, those were the tapes I were kind of in a couple of first teasers. Come on. Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. No, they... Okay. If you weren't paying attention, they found... They deduced where exactly Nathan was taking... Uh, where Nathan took Kate and where he likely took Rachel as well. So they found a barn and they found a way into the little underground bunker. They found an underground bunker in the barn and it has this weird like fetishy photography stuff in it. So Not yeah, that's basically Victoria, what's going on. But it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... out of it. Maybe... Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Oh no. Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Oh Please. God. Let's go. Holy oh, my God. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Holy shit, this is... This took a turn to a place where I did not expect to take, it to take a turn. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna search... I'm gonna keep searching in here. Ah, oh, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Oh, lordy, lordy. I was not prepared for this. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Uh, I feel kind of a little bad about being kind of jokey jokey about this. Jesus. So there's the newspapers. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Ooh, boy. Somebody likes their whiskey. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. <sighs> yeah. Was... <laughs> They're very not prepared for all this shit. All right, let's uh, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jesus. No. 
Oh, that smell. Rachel. Oh no. No, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Oh God. Yeah. Oh boy. I think I think that's probably a good place to end the episode. They better end it at that point. Is there more? Wait, there's more? That's not the end of it? Joyce's his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Ooh, God. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. Why does everybody have? Oh, is that her I'm camera? For the shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Yeah, I'm surprised this episode's going as far as it's going. As long as it's going, anyway. So, we might take another break before we finish this episode up. So the next chance I get, I'll probably save it. I'll probably pause it. 
and uh, we'll probably finish this up. No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? All right. Well, uh, after that big fucking drama bomb, um, let's go ahead and take one last break, and we'll finish up this episode tonight. So, yeah, be right back. Ooh, boy. This is uh, something. 